I'm going to show you my way of how I set up my reference tracks when I do a mastering process. So here we have an empty project. So I'm just going to create our track. Now if you notice, it instantly uh, routes out to your stereo output right here. So here's my file. Let's grab this, bring it over here. Okay. So that's what I got to work with. Now I have this file over here, which I want to use for my reference. Now, if you notice, they're both routed to stereo out. So if I start setting up my master chain here, let's just say we put on some kind of EQ and then um, just a limiter. Okay, and let's listen to my track. I do something. Everybody know. Everybody. So just these two things alone, just to show you that I'm affecting my track. Now, if I go to my reference track, it's gonna go through my mastering chain as well. So there's really no way for me to actually do a good comparison. So what I like to do is instead of routing the track that I want to master, instead of routing that to the stereo out, we're just going to send it to another bus. And I usually just go for bus 64. And you can call it whatever you want. I like to call it my pre-sum, but you can call it a pre-master, whatever, whatever works for you. So now my mastering track is going to go through here and I'll put my plugins there. So I can really audition this and go back and forth without my reference track being affected by the mastering chain. Here's the setup I have for this little beat I, I made up. Now I have two copies of the mix and there's a reason why. So my first track here is feeding to my summing chain or my mastering chain, whatever you want to call it. Okay. And then I just have a good old copy of the same thing, but going straight to stereo. So this way, whatever I do here, I could compare what I did to the original mix very easily without having to go through, turn these all off or do any kind of uh, weird thing. So I'll show you going back and forth between them. Very different. So if I wanted to maybe level match so I can get a clearer picture of what I'm doing. It looks like this was hitting about 11 dB. Get a better idea than just what the loudness is messing up in my head. So I can hear any changes that I made to that. And then of course, here's my reference track and notice it's going straight to the stereo out bus as well and it's not feeding into my mastering chain. So this makes it really easy for me to audition uh, my track that I'm mastering along with this mastering chain the original track on affected and a reference track. Sometimes I might even set up two references or three for whatever purpose. Now there's some plugins that will do this for you. I prefer to do it this way. It's just my personal workflow. Uh, I kind of don't trust <laughs> plugins that do that, but feel free to try them out. I hope this little tutorial helped you. Let me know what you think. <laughs> Everybody know, everybody knows.